What's up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, and Zika Milling, and the villain for the Chilling, and we are back on Donkey Rapper Tuga by Despair. Um, last episode, Nagito is a terrorist, so let's try not to become victims. I've been resting since the explosion yesterday, but my body still hurts. A dull metallic sound is ringing in my ears, and the back of my head feels hot. I can't think straight, but I can't afford to spend a whole day resting. I immediately left my cottage. Holy guacamole and cheese, man. What the freak? Yo. Oh, it's you. You're covered in sweat. Huh. I was looking for Nagito. This traitor stuff bugs the crap out of me. I won't forgive you. I just have to beat him up and make him tell us where the bombs are. But I can't find him anywhere. Is he hiding or something? starting to get hungry. Maybe I should go back to the restaurant. Kinda looks pretty frustrated. I guess that makes sense after what happened yesterday. What's gonna happen to us now? Holy crap, man. Holy crap. Yo. Yo, Hajime, how are you feeling? Not good, but not so bad that I can't move. Huh. Then you're okay. This is bad. I'm not okay at all. My ears are seriously ringing. Damn it. My eardrum is definitely ruptured. I need to hurry and have a doctor look at it. Um, so what should we do now? However, what can we do? Hmm. How troubling. If the traitor would just come forward, this problem would be resolved in no time. Nagito, when did you? Hey. Good morning. I came to motivate you guys since you're just lying around. Didn't I tell you yesterday that the bombs are set to go off in two days at noon? Well, you've got one day left. Come on, you better hurry. I mean... Hurry? I'm not the one who has to come forward. The traitor does, right? Well... Well, that's probably true. But even if this does depend on the traitor, your attitudes aren't admirable at all. Isn't that right? I mean, real hope is when you confront a hopeless difficulty that's standing before you, right? And despite that, you guys are ready to give up. What does that mean? Or is this your limit? If so, it makes me laugh to think I ever called you symbols of hope. You bastard, you better knock it off! Now, now. Now, now, keep your shirt on. I took the time to come and bring you guys a valuable hint. Wouldn't it be bad if I changed my mind? Did he say a hint? Hey, yo, get to talking. Nagito, what's your hint? I'm glad. Oh, you finally have hope. That makes me happy. Hey! Who freaking cares? Hurry up and tell us! Well. Well, it's about the bomb's hiding place. I hid it somewhere you guys haven't been before. Huh? Somewhere we haven't been before. Piss me off. I don't need any hints. I'll pick you up. Just tell us the answer. If you don't, I'll make you spit it out. Hey, 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 stop it, stop it. What are we gonna do if we set up another bomb? Yep. Good judgment. Hey. You guys have a have time to pick a fight with me, then you should start searching for the bombs already. I'll just crush you to pieces later. Oh. How scary. Why did you give us a hint? See? Well, if the traitor sees their friends working hard, they may feel inclined to come forward, you know? You... Who cares? The traitor might not even exist. All we need to do is find the damn bomb. Huh. Let's go. <laughs> Take care. I... Oh, by the way, I'll be waiting here, so if you want to reveal yourself, come see me anytime. What? Mr. or Miss Traitor? We left the restaurant as Magito muffled laughter trailed behind us. It's probably inside the facility. Hi. Kazuichi, why did you stop me? Huh? What are you talking about? <sighs> if you hadn't stopped me, I could have crushed Nagito to pieces. Bastard. You're too fired up, dumbass. Calm the fuck down at least. Everyone. More importantly, let's head over to the ancient ruin. Hmm. Huh? The ruin? Please listen. Nagito said the bombs are hidden somewhere we have never been before. So just as I if that is the case, the inside of that ruin is the only place I can think of. Well. No, there was another place too. What was it again? That castle at the amusement park. What's his name? Huh? Are you talking about Natsume Castle? Hey, hey, hey! You don't get it at all! He freaking means Nezumi Castle! Then we have those two places to choose from. We won't be able to enter the ancient ruin without a password. What should we do? Password, huh? Guess we still don't have any clues to that. Hey, hey. That probably goes for Nagito, too. 
he wouldn't be able to enter without the password either, right? If that's the case, it's hard to, it's hard to think the bombs were set inside the ancient ruin, right? So we should try going to Nezomi Castle first. Are we screwed? But isn't that dangerous? I mean, what if that was Nagito's trap all along? Jeez. Monokuma's trap, Monami's trap, and now Nagito's dumbass. trap. If we keep worrying about shit like that, we won't get anything done, dumbass. You. You're totally fired up too. Hey. Anyway, we should try going there at least. We don't have any time to stand around doing nothing. All right, full speed ahead. All right, we'll tackle Nezumi Castle first. Hey, hey. Hey, check it out. The entrance is destroyed. It's been blown to bits as if someone set off a bomb. I get it. If that's true, it looks like this place was spot on. D damn it! Then the bombs are inside here? Damn right. That's what it look. That's what it looks like. Um. Then let's try going inside. But we need to be careful. We need to pay as much attention as we can. You're right. After forcing a dry swallow, I nervously stepped through the door. And there. This is place. I thought the inside would look more lighthearted than this. Um. The ambiance feels similar to that of a temple or a church, however. Is it just me or does it seem like there are no bombs to be found here? Well. No, it's not just you. If the bombs are strong enough to blow up the entire island, they should be pretty big. But I don't see anything. I don't see a place where they could be hidden anywhere, either. Then there are no bombs here? The bombs aren't here, but even so, I feel like there's something suspicious here. But why? I feel like this place is different somehow. This feeling, it's the same feeling I felt when I first saw the ancient ruin. There's definitely clues of something here. Nordic looking spear on the wall. It looks flashy. I have a strong feeling the spear is just for decoration. Really strange looking. There's some kind of cord attached to the end of the handle. Which means? It is a weapon used to capture an opponent using the cord as a whip just before you deliver the final blow. So it's like a chain sickle. However... However, you must be careful. Using the whip as a weapon is quite difficult. You may capture yourself instead of your intended target. That is right! And you might cause an unexpected fan service moment. What are you talking about? <laughs> Beautiful fighters who get themselves in immodest situations are in universal demand. Like I said, what are you talking about? What's this? I was I was I was trying to figure out what the password was. I was, I read it and I was trying to see like, huh? What is the password? This font doesn't match the ambiance of the castle at all. It almost seems like this was intentionally put here. Hey everyone, come check this out. Huh? Oh, what's this? To all subjects. What are they talking about? Is it, is it about us? There's more written below that. What does it mean? The password to guide everyone to the future is... Lies. What the heck is this? We can't even read the most important part! Lies. What does the password to guide everyone to the future even mean? Maybe it's that password. Could it be? Could it be the password to access that ancient ruin? Guide everyone to the future. Maybe that refers to the Japanese word that is written on the door. Whoa. As expected of Miss Sonia. She only had to read it once to understand what it means. Like... But if we can't read the password, there's nothing we can do. That is... It is a rather tragic moment. Hey, hey. I wonder who erased this. Erased? It scratched out. So... I mean, it doesn't feel like it was erased naturally, right? It looks like it was forcibly scratched off. That's the only way I can see it. Even so... But Monami and Monokuma should have entered this castle because they don't like mice, right? I won't forgive you. Then it was Nagito. He's the one who erased the password. Unforgivable. Perhaps. 
Nagito probably discovered the password here and used it to enter the ancient ruin. Then he hid the bombs inside the ancient ruin. So he erased the password so he wouldn't be able to get near the bomb. Damn it, that actually makes a lot of sense. If that's true, he gave us a hint even though he knew we wouldn't be able to use it. Don't tell me. It's just so he could shove that reality in our faces. No way we can enter that ancient ruin if we don't know the password. In the end, we can't do anything about the bombs unless the traitor comes forward. Did he lure us to this place so we'd be forced to confront that? Forcing us to confront the despair before us. Forcing us to confront how powerless we are. Damn it, that's what Monokuma would do! Whoever you are, you don't have to reveal yourself to us. Just tell Nagito. If you don't, you'll just end up dying too, you know? Yeah. Hey, who are you saying that to? I don't know, I'm just saying it to everyone! Oh. Let's stop. Finding among ourselves won't help anything. More importantly, let's work harder to find the password to that ancient ruin. Or clues that might relate to it. As long as we cooperate and explore all over the island, we might be able to find it, you know? Damn it! Are you telling us to look all everywhere for a password that might not even exist? Hey. We'll leave a password here in the first place and why? If it wasn't Monokuma or Monami, then who was it? We can't even answer that, so there's no way we'll be able to find anything. Wait. Then what would you have us do? Just wait until we all die? That is no different than when we were in the fun house. And what did we learn there? We learned not to give up on living, right? Hmm. That Gundam was the only one who said that. Very well then. I shall look for it on my own. Excuse me. Sonya, hold on. Sonya ignored me as I called out for her. She stormed out of the area. Her shoulders were shaking a little, I'm sure of it. I mean... What the heck? Shut up! Shut up! Dang it, fine! You want to look for it, well fine! Kazuichi left Nezumi Castle and walked in the opposite direction of Sonya. What the hell are they doing? Now's not the time for infighting. Like... Well, it might be a good idea to work separately. Huh? Why? Huh? I mean, it's easier to move around that way, you know? In case someone wanted to go see secretly go meet someone? Hey, does that mean... Sorry. Sorry. Just act like I was thinking out loud and pretend you weren't listening. Damn it. Not again. Man, we're scattered as usual. If you think so, then please help. Huh. Yeah, leave it to me. I've got a secret plan. I won't forgive you. I just have to find a source to this problem and snap it off. Uh, Akane, what's, what's your secret plan? Could it be? I have a bad feeling about the way Akane's acting. I'll run after her. It's best if we keep Akane away from Nagito for now, far away. You're right, I guess I'll leave it to you. Yep. Okay, see you later. Chiaki ran after Akane and from there I was the only one left. What does this really mean? Who are these subjects that are being referred to? It's a password to guide everyone to the future. I was the last to leave Nezumi Castle and wandered all over the island searching for clues to the password. I didn't expect to find anything, and in the end, that's exactly what happened. So time passed by with its usual speed. It is now. Please return to your rooms now, then, sweet. Hmm. Even after the announcement, I kept searching the island, but I didn't find what we were looking for. After a while, I had forgotten what it was supposed to, what I was supposed to be looking for in the first place. In the end, after coming up empty-handed, I returned to the hotel. I didn't see anyone else on my way back here, but I also didn't see them when I was exploring either. Because even though this island is so vast, our numbers have drastically decreased since we arrived. I can't think of any other reason than that. We should go back. Nagato said times run out at noon tomorrow. Another day is about to end, which means there's only half a day left. Can't imagine the trader will be revealed by then since we don't even know if they really exist. Even if they do, it's possible they've forgotten that they are the traitor. All this thinking makes me feel like I should do something, but... My brain and body are yearning for rest. Probably because of all the walking I did today. As I dozed off, horrible, disgusting images began surfacing from the back of my mind one after the other. 
before I could focus on the specifics of those images. I slowly sank into the depths of deep darkness. I think giving up is important. If you don't give them your dreams, they'll come true. I don't feel like it, bro. This is... I don't feel like listening to your rambling, man. Ahem. Hope's Good morning, everyone. Now then, let's... Scenery this morning is the same as it ever was. I can see the sunlight peeking through the window. We hear the faint sound of waves crashing on the beach. But the bombs Nagito said are gonna destroy all of it. But time runs out at noon. At the moment, there's nothing but our situation is changing for the better. Usually I'd go to the restaurant, but what should I do today? As long as I remember what Nagito said. I'll be waiting for I'll be waiting here, so if you want to reveal yourself, come see me anytime. Mr. or Miss Trader. Sounds like he was planning to hang out at the restaurant all day. Wait a minute, he's going to be there all day? Then if anyone went to the restaurant like they normally do, the bad feeling lingering in my chest grew with each beat of my frantic heart. I immediately ran out of my cottage. No, 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 no. The moment I set foot inside the restaurant, the worst case scenario was unfolding before me. No! Playtime's over. Now, where'd you hide the bombs? That hurts, but I'll never tell. If you really want me to spit it out, you should try torturing me or something. Huh? Torture? Maybe you can stab my fingers with that fork over there. Or scoop my eyes out with that spoon. If you're not willing to fill me with despair, there's no way my hope will ever burn. Oh. Akane's hand suddenly wrapped around Nagito's neck, and his face began turning a startling shade of red. Me. Just die already! Her clenched hands kept squeezing even tighter. Then she was trying to snap his neck instead of strangling him. Hey, hey. W what are you doing? Burn. Akane! This is bad. Are you all right? Isn't he seriously gonna die? She was too overcome by rage to acknowledge us. Huh? Calm down, okay? You wouldn't do something like that, right? You're not the kind of person who would hurt someone, right? See, it's all right. Yep, no problem. Sorry, I'm awake now. That's weird. What was I doing anyway? Hey, hey! That's what I want to ask. Don't tell me you were actually thinking about killing him. And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, I saw him slowly stand Thanks. up. Thank you, Akane. I got to see my dead dog again. I haven't seen him in ages. Huh? Serves you right. You probably pissed off Akane in the first place. Wow. I didn't mean to do that, though. Anyway, thank you for saving me. Looks like I owe you one. Then... If you sincerely mean that, then tell us the password to enter the ancient ruin. Huh? The password to the ancient ruin? What are you gonna do with that? You... Don't play dumb. You've hidden the bombs inside that ruin, right? You're right. Yep, I did. <laughs> Until yesterday. Huh? You bastard! What do you mean by until yesterday? Well... There wasn't anything important inside the ancient ruins, just some familiar scenery. Familiar scenery. Jeez. I got bored of it. Also, if I hit them in there, it would be completely meaningless. <sighs> Even if you manage to learn the password to some of the ancient ruin, it has no meaning anymore. Now that I moved the bomb somewhere else. Hey, hey. But they were inside that ancient ruin, right? I'm glad. Anyway, I guess it was right for me to move them. They were about to be found before the traitor confessed. Oh. Well, it's not like it really matters. In fact, that might be better. Amazing. To make hope shine even brighter. Faster. Stop talking crazy! And tell us where you moved the bombs already! 
<laughs> Looks like you're in a hurry. Well, that's understandable. After all, time runs out today. Hey. And let's begin the final battle. The final battle between the traitor and everyone else. <laughs> the final battle between hope and despair. The place I hit the bumps this time is a place you've all visited at least once. Hey, hey, hey. That's it? That's too broad. See? It shouldn't be that hard if you guys split up. For now, why don't you guys search everywhere as fast as you can? As long as everyone cooperates, it should be easy to find out where the bombs are. What the heck? This is exciting! It's going to be fun. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way hope can lose. <laughs> Absolute hope can break through any despair. Absolute hope that can break through any despair can never lose in a place like this. I... And not only that, I believe in you all. I believe in the time we spent together. And more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. It was going to be fine. As long as you believe in hope with all your heart, the path should open. With that, Nagato walked off and left us with his sinister mixed Damn message. It. Why does he still have to be alive? Dumbass. Now's not the time to complain about stuff like that. Oh. Besides, we don't have time to fight among ourselves. You are right. We must hurry and find the bombs. We should still have time to stop them. I mean... We don't know where to look. Shut the hell up! The only thing we can do is split up and cover as much ground as we can. Shut the hell up! There are exactly six of us. Each person should be in charge of an island. Damn it. Then leave this island to me. I already have the layout of this island in my head. Leave it to me. Hmm. Makani has this island and I'll do the second one. <laughs> Ms. Song, you should get the smallest island. Are you are you sure you're searching you're okay with searching the central island? Huh? But but anyway. You're probably no good at covering ground anyway, right? It's fine, you can search the central island. Chiaki, you search the third island with the hospital. Hajime, you search the amusement park island. And I'll handle the final island. Alright, let's do it. Let's hurry and find those bumps so we can take care of night until once and for all. We stormed out of the restaurant and immediately left to search for the bomb. We didn't even have time to we didn't have time to even think about who the traitor is. But it's ironic. Nagito is the reason we're all splitting up, but the reason we're all cooperating is because of Nagito too. It's pretty damn ironic. I'm in charge of searching the fourth island. I should search every nook and cranny. According to Nagito, the bombs have enough power to easily wipe out this entire island. Probably not very small, I'll definitely find it. Man, fuck Nagito, bruh. Bro, I, we, we can't check. We can't check the, um, the, 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 the towers. Hajime? Well, I don't have time to deal with you. Did you see? Did you see? Robber. Robber. My important thing got stolen. Her important thing was stolen. Man, ignore her. The door is open? I can go inside. It's possible that the bombs were hidden in here. How should I describe this place? It's so cloyingly cute that I feel like I'm gonna be sick. Why is Hajime in my house? The door was wide open. As soon as she heard that, she waddled to the door. It's broken! My security system is broken! The robber probably did it! No, a robber is no excuse. A female teacher with a young boy and student in this house, her house is inappropriate. I miss flattered with disgrace. She's so loud! Shut up! Are you talking about Monokuma? He went and do something cheap as breaking the lock. Ever since he took my power, he can do anything he wants on this island as long as he wills it. Robber is one of us. My important thing was definitely stolen. My treasure box? No one would steal Monami's treasure box. Someone did. Why would they steal it in the first place? You let me know if you find my treasure. It's a magnificent treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights. If I come across it. Not displaying anything, but why are there so many? Are you monitoring us with these? <gasps> so I was right. There's surveillance cameras all over the island and the footage those cameras are recording. 
You were watching that footage on these monitors and mo monitoring us, weren't you? I was until Monokuma appeared. I no longer have my magic stick and because of that, Monokuma stole all my powers. I don't even have the authority to monitor everyone anymore. These monitors are useless. What does a stick have to do with surveillance camera? Anyway, I can't monitor everyone anymore. I have no other way of following your movements unless I rely on these somewhat nifty ears. I don't really understand, but does that mean Monokuma has been watching us do it on the stable camera? That's wrong! No, it's probably not him either. In his current state, he shouldn't even need to use those cameras. His power keeps increasing beyond my expectations. He surpassed any me any standard of measuring it. Stop talking about something that doesn't make sense. Who's watching? Got it? They probably only matter to the outside. Outside? You mean the group that's controlling you and Monokuma? The people outside this island are watching footage captured by the surveillance camera. <laughs> I can't brush that aside! Um... What I can't say... But I can't say. I'm trying to cover it up by crying, that's exactly what Monokuma does. Can't hey, trust her. Hey. Now for your question, now it's my turn to question you. Hey. Why did you suddenly come to the amusement park? It's strange that you're walking alone. Something happened? Something did happen! I'm trying to waste at a place like this. Important question, do you know where they are? Somewhere on Jabberwock Island, Nagito. Hey, hey! Just screw off! Well, hello there, Monami. Wanna play with your big brother? Monokuma? Uh -huh. We'll just start an invitation. We've never played before. <laughs> Everyone's busy. You shouldn't interfere. Yeah. So hurry up and come play with me. <laughs> Don't pull my ears. I'll leave the rest to you. He always interferes when we're discussing something important. He's really monitoring us. We gotta get back to searching. I left out of Monami's house to return to search for the bombs. Hey. Hajime. I... I found them. You found them? Damn it. Yeah, a shit ton of bombs were piled on top of one another. Damn, I didn't expect to find actual bombs. Where'd you find them? Near that stupid factory where the life Monokuma Monokuma plushies are made. The plushies factory, alright, got it. I'll go tell Kazuichi and Akane. Can you tell Sonya and Chiaki? Damn it. We'll meet in front of the bombs later. It's gonna happen after that. We'll be able to stop them. No point in thinking about that right now. I need to tell Sonya and Chiaki about the bomb. Sonya's on Central Island and Chiaki's on the Third Island. All right. Should be here on Central Island. The only place on this island where bombs could probably be hit is Jabberwock. Maybe Sonya's searching there. I don't see her anywhere. Hey, Sonya! I'm right here. Too bad. Oh my goodness. It's only me. Yes, indeed. Hajime used call Sonya, but nothing happened. Because she's already gone to a faraway place. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. You're looking for Sonya. She was walking around near the military base. The one on the final island. Did she already hear about the bombs? Is that why she went to the final island? Even so, there's no reason for her to be at the military base. The bombs were found at the plushie factory. I don't understand, but I'll head over there after I talk to Chiaki. Maybe she went to the base on her own without knowing anything about the bomb. What the hell is going on? Here's the music venue, is that? It is, it's Chiaki! Chiaki is near the music venue. I need to hurry and tell her about the bombs. Oh. Chiaki, I've been looking for you. What happened? Don't respond so slowly. It's the bombs. We found the bombs. Hurry over to the plushie factory. Hey, are you listening? This is no time to space out. Yep. Oh, you're right. The bombs are bad, right? We gotta go to the plushie factory. I'll head over. At least be a little more nervous. Even in a situation like this, she moves at a snail's pace. I should head over to the final island and meet up with Sonya at the military base. Something isn't right. 
something is not right at all. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Something is so wrong. Sonia, there she is. What is she doing in a place like this? She's digging around the back of that truck. Hey, what are you doing? My. Hazume, please do not startle me. I am concerned. I thought my heart was going to explode. Anyway, what are you doing here? Weren't you searching the Central Island? Um, I was, but there was something I needed to confirm here. Never mind that we not for now we found them. Um, what did you find? The bombs, obviously! They found the bombs at the plushie factory. Uh, the bombs are at the factory? Let's hurry over to the plushie factory. The others should be there already too. What are you stalling for? If we don't hurry, it'll be too late. You are right. I understand. I shall make my way there shortly. Please go in without me. Huh? I am sorry. It is going to be fine. I will catch up with you soon. Got it. I'll start heading over. I don't know what she wants to do, but there's no point in arguing. I left Sonya for now and decided to go to the plushie factory first. There is something so wrong. Why is she even at the military base? I guess just ask her later. Anyway, the bombs are the biggest priority. I should head over to the plushie factory. There's something wrong. There's something wrong. Huh? Oh, where's Sonya? I told her about the bombs, but she wouldn't listen to me. She said she'd catch up with us later. Huh? Later? Why? She said she she should know now isn't the time for that, but... Well... Can I go bring her? Dumbass. Do you really think there's time for that, you fucking dumbass? You're right, we need to stop the bombs Damn first. It. All right, let's go. We steeled our nerves and charged into the factory. First thing we noticed was the roaring engine of a nearby truck. A truck? Why? There's a truck parked in the middle of the factory. A lot of dangerous looking objects are loaded on the bed of the truck. Hey, 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 hey. Those things on top of the bed, is that it? Damn it? I don't know how powerful they are, or if they have enough power to blow up the entire island, but if there are that many, they must be extremely powerful. Did he really drive this truck and carry all these over here? Uh, carry over all these bombs? Kazuichi, can't you disarm this bomb? You're good at that kind of stuff, right? Hmm. I thought I could, but looks like the engine is acting as a detonator. But that's why the engine is still running. The bombs are set up so when the engine stops running, the insulator will blow off and trigger the explosion. You? I don't care how it's built. Can you disarm it or not? Uh. It's impossible. I don't have enough time. The main detonator was put inside this bulky metal box and welded shut. There's no way I can disarm it if I can't get this thing open. So it's gonna take you a long time. That's not good. I mean, it's almost... This is bad. Yeah, noon. Mm. What if we use the tools of the military base? Hey, hey, hey! We don't have time for that. The truck's engine is a detonator, right? Then can't we stall for time by adding gasoline? It's no use. The, the fuel cap has been welded on too. I'm gonna do it! And just drive the truck into the sea! Bastard! You can't! You don't even have a driver's license! Huh? Are you seriously gonna stop me? I thought your family was all about breaking the law. Damn it! But even that's impossible. The chain wrapped ar There's a chain wrapped around the wheel. If we can't disarm the bomb, stall for time, or move the truck, there's nothing we can do. Hey, hey. Hey, check it out. Huh? See? There's some kind of machine on top of the metal box Kazuichi mentioned. Huh? Machine on top of the box. Hmm. Oh, this. Looks like a card reader. Card reader? Hmm. Maybe we can disarm the bomb if we swap the key card. Are you serious? What? Hmm. Wait, that might be possible. Nagito wouldn't be able to disarm these bombs if we didn't leave some way of doing that, right? Huh? Maybe he never planned to disarm them from the start. 
No, I don't think that's it. Nagito is probably trying to make us do something here. What do you mean something? So... Knowing Nagito, there's definitely some kind of theme to this, I think. Theme? <laughs> that bastard would probably do something messed up like that. Then we gotta find that. Nagito is trying to make us do something here. If that's true, what is he trying to make us do this time? Laptop. There's a laptop on the stop conveyor belt. It wasn't here last time I came here, right? How suspicious. It looks suspicious. It might be good if we examine it thoroughly. Yeah, you're right. As soon as I touched the laptop, some kind of program began running all of a sudden. And almost immediately, a video started playing. Hello there. Well, hello everyone. Great work. So you really found the bombs, huh? Believing in you is completely worth it. Nagito? Perhaps. It looks like a video message from Nagito. You pissed me off. Video message. If he's got something to say, he can say it to our faces. Hey, bastard. Just hold on. For now, let's just watch this video through to the end. Now then. Now that you guys have found the bomb, all you need to do is stop it. Tell you the truth, it's not it's not it's actually not all that hard to do. You see, there's a card reader on top of the metal box. As long as you scan an e handbook, it will disarm the bomb. Leave it to me. If that's the case, then just leave it to me. However, well, it won't work with just any student handbook. If you wanted to disarm the bomb, you have to use the trader student handbook. To be honest, I found out the trader I found out who the trader was after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. But I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So if things stay this way, this way, it'll look like I lost, right? That's why I was thinking I should have another battle. So this is gonna be your last chance, trader. What are you gonna do? Everyone's life depends on you whether you whether whether or not you save them is up to you. Now then I wonder how this is going to end. Will the trader's identity finally be revealed? And with that, the video ended. The trader's student handbook. Don't tell me. So that's it. This was also a trap to weed out the trader. Hey, hey. Is there seriously a trader? If there is, they should have come forward already. I mean, their life is in danger too, you know? That's true, but. Yeah. Stop whining and complaining. We should do it one at a time. You. It would be stupid. What if someone besides the trader uses their handbook? Hey, hey. It's really stupid to be fighting over something like this. And so, with an annoyed expression on her face, Chiaki walked over to the bomb without saying a word. Took her handbook out of her pocket. Huh? And without hesitating, swiped the card reader. Mm. Looks like I was wrong. See? Who's next? What are you doing? If you make a mistake, the bombs might blow up. You think so? But they didn't. Hey! That's just a fluke. Don't act so careless in a situ- Kazuichi, are you the traitor? Anyway. Goodness. Well, I guess Chiaki's not the traitor. I don't think the traitor would have swiped their handbook right away like she did. Mm. So what are we going to do? Who wants to try next? Hey, hey, hey! Like I said, don't act so careless. Swiping the wrong card might be saved. But only once, you know? Hey, what happened? Well... Nothing, I might be overthinking it, but the engine somehow sounds... His face turned pale as he rushed over to the truck. Then, he, as he tilted his head toward the engine, he suddenly shouted, ah! It's out of gas! What'd you say? Huh? Well, what's gonna happen if there's no gas? Ah! I already told you it was gonna blow! But isn't this too soon? I mean, there's still time until Are noon. Are you kidding me? Did, did not get so miscalculate? You serious? You're gonna set us up with this, get your calculations right, damn it! A at least Monokuma knows how to keep a schedule. Are you serious? Hey, can we do anything about it? Is there something we can do? Yeah. There's only one thing we can do. Huh? What is it? What do we have to do? Damn it. Pray. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking serious? <laughs> then we should run. And that's when it happened. Huh? All of a sudden, the inside of the factory began overflowing with dazzling light. 
What? What the hell is this? Um, Looks like they're fireworks. Fireworks. Well, we stepped and dumbfounded. The fireworks slowly decreased their intensity, and eventually. Oh my! This means ah. it wasn't a bomb. Huh? What, what the heck? I mean, Nagito said. Um, so it was just as I thought, as you thought. Hey, hey. Hey everyone, look over there. The laptop, it looks like it's playing another video. Is it Nagito again? We immediately rushed over to the laptop. <laughs> so, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. You don't think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. Damn it. Damn it, so this was all a bluff. Then, what was, what was the bomb he detonated at the hotel? Um, Nagito went to the octagon in the fun house, right? Don't tell me. Is that where he got that bomb? But it definitely wasn't strong enough to blow up an island. Nagito was lying about that. You pissed me off. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If not, then how did his message time so perfectly? Hmm. No, it looks like the video was set to play after the explosion. But why did he have to use a video message? That's the one thing I don't get. Hey, hey. Let's think about that after we've watched the whole thing. You're right. Hey. So how did it go? Did the trader come forward? If I had to guess, well, I say they did it, right? So then, which is it? It'd make me very happy if you guys could tell me. I'll be at the warehouse next door waiting for your answer. From there, we'll compare our answers and I'll let you know who the trader really is. See you later. The warehouse next door. That's where Nagito is? I won't forgive you. I'll make sure to beat the crap out of him. Right. I'll deliver the final blow and smash his head with a wrench. Jeez. You bastards, what are you saying? Bastard! You guys can just beat the crap out of him because I'm going to freaking kill him. Mm. You guys have totally flipped your lids. Now's not the time to be calm. We need to stop them. That is an order. You are right. Let us make haste. Chiaki, I can't believe you actually swiped your card. I mean, it's a great, it's great that it didn't blow up, but shouldn't you have been more cautious? Well. But isn't it better than letting them explode? Well, that's true. At least we know for sure that Chiaki isn't the traitor. If she was the traitor, she wouldn't attempt that in the first I place. Think. More importantly, we should hurry and catch up to the others, I think. Yeah, you're right. If we leave them alone, they might actually kill Nagito. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the crap out of him. Hey, man, I know how you feel, but calm down. Wait. Shut up. Huh? Everyone's feet came to a grinding halt. Their red, angry faces instantly transformed into a look of caution. Akane, what is it? Huh. Can you hear something? It's coming from the other side of this door. The other side of this door. If I listen carefully, I can make out a soft sound coming from inside the warehouse. Music? What is he planning? Is this another one of Nagito's traps? Huh? Maybe the moment we open this door, the real bomb is gonna go kaboom. Now then. All right, let's open it and find out. Huh? Please do not, Akane, it is dangerous. Yo. It's fine, I'll open it slowly. No, that's not the problem. Leave it to me. Seriously, it'll be fine. With those two words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Huh? Oh, it's not opening. There's something blocking the door. I can barely open it. Hey, hey. I, I knew it. It's a trap. Seriously, just stop, okay? You? Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? Just gotta use a little more force. What, what happened to opening it slowly? Akane ignored their protest and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. Ah! Instinctively, we tensed our bodies and braced ourselves, but... Huh? Huh? What's this? What happened? Yo. Look inside. It sure is dark. Looks like there aren't any lights on. Is Nagito really in here? 
The inside of the warehouse felt even darker because our eyes were still used to the bright sunlight outside. Within the darkness, a loud hymnal blared throughout the warehouse at full hey, volume. Do you guys hear something? Yeah, it's really damn loud. Does Nagito like listening to this depressing crap? No, I'm not talking about the music. As if on cue, it suddenly started. Huh? It's on fire! A fearsome blaze suddenly began dancing inside the dark warehouse. Its fiery wings spreading before Whoa. us. What? What's going on? For now, we must extinguish these flames. Let us hurry and put them out. Hey, hey. But how are we supposed to put the fire out? There should be a fire extinguishing supplies inside the factory break room. Perhaps we could use those? Got it, let's head for the break room. After listening to Sonya, we ran into the factory. The break room is just beyond this door. Where are the fire extinguishing supplies? A huge supplies of lined up plastic bottles. Looks like there's some kind of liquid inside them. You found one, those are fire grenades. Fire grenades? They're basic fire extinguishing goods. When you throw them at the fire, the container breaks and the chemicals inside puts out it the fire. Strange, no? But it is strange. The last time I peeked inside this place, I recall seeing other fire extinguishing supplies too. There should be plenty. Let's hurry up and go back to the warehouse. I don't trust it. I feel like these have been replaced with gasoline. I feel like Nagato replaced it with gasoline and it's gonna make the fire worse. Make sure you don't get too close to the fire, it's dangerous. Then... Take care not to inhale the smoke as well. We must throw the grenades from the door at the same time. Damn it. Like the curtain in the back is burning up. I tried to aim for that, right? Alright, let's go! We aimed for the curtain in the back and threw all the fire grenades one after another. But... Hey. The curtain absorbed the impact of the thrown grenades which fell on the floor and shattered. They were completely ineffective at extinguishing the burning curtain. Did the fire continue to rise? It will inflame the ceiling. This is bad. We've already used up all the fire grenades. What are we gonna do? All we can do now is pray for rain! Don't be stupid! There's no way it'll conveniently start raining if we pray for it. It's raining? So this is the power of the Japanese Terra Terra Bozo. That's not it. It looks like the sprinklers activated. About time! Oh, the sprinklers. They must have detected the smoke and turned on. Water continued to vigorously pour out of the sprinklers. And after a while, the fire in the warehouse was completely extinguished. Looks like the fire is out. Um, that is a relief. The hell! Man, my merch is drenched! It got splattered with water and now it's soaked! It's so wet! Hey, hey. Hey, is it okay to look inside now? Just a minute. Ah, uh, no, time out, time out. You can't, no, no way. Why can't we go inside? Hey, um, Smoke and hazardous gas are still spread throughout the warehouse. It's gotta ventilate for a while. Well, yeah. Well, I guess you're right. Be a problem we've breathed in any lingering smoke. So... so, for the sake of your health, please just wait for a little while. While you're waiting, why don't you check out Monokuma Theater? I'm freshly prepared. Monokuma doesn't exist. The Monokuma Theater doesn't exist. Everything is fiction. There's no meaning whatsoever. No relationship. Everything was made. Monokuma can't be found anywhere. What are you doing here anyway? Yes, 
indeed. Now that Monokuma's theater is over, I'm sure it's finished ventilating by now. I'm finally starting to feel better. Just because my important merch was ruined doesn't mean I should be depressed about it forever. Whenever I feel depressed, I always ask myself this question. But hold on. Why are your eyes on the front? I got it. So we can move forward. Don't be sad about what's already happened and be positive. Uh, we, we get it already. Jeez. Enough with your bullshit. I'll leave the rest to you. Ah, and I turned on the light for you guys too. You might hurt yourself if it start. Is Nagito inside? Hmm. He said he was in his he said he was in his video message, but he probably escaped by now. Huh. There was so much fire and smoke. And I thought I'd finally get to beat the crap out of him this time. Hey, hey. Well, why don't we go inside and see how he's doing? You Hajime, what happened? Well, nothing happened, but I don't know why. My heart is racing, it won't settle down. I'm scared. As if an intense malice is about to stab me. Stab me through my whole body. And I can't even budge. It feels like everything was too late. Why do I feel this anxious? Anyway, let's go inside. A charred odor permeated throughout the entire warehouse, and the air was so heavy that it was hard to breathe. The moment I stepped foot inside the warehouse, a mixture of bewilderment, anxiety, and fear overtook me at once. It smells. Something smells. Hey, hey! Not me! I am sorry! I am terribly sorry. You serious? Miss Sonia, say it ain't so! Hmm. No, not that. It's like a smell I've never smelled before. Like... Well, it makes sense. There are a bunch of strange smells when a bunch of different things were burned. Hey, hey. Hey, everyone. Did you know about that curtain? I mean, the curtain that was on fire, right? What do you mean, no? See? I didn't notice until the curtain was burning. But there's space on the other side of it. When I looked where Chiaki was pointing, there was still space beyond the burnt, tattered curtain. I walked toward the burnt tattered carton with slow methodical steps. I'd never experienced such an oppressive atmosphere before and I couldn't help holding my breath. And then on the other side of the curtain, I saw the true source of intense malice that I'd been feeling. I had no idea what I was looking at. By the times I realized I was looking at the remains of Nagito Komaeda, the ultimate lucky student, time had already stopped. Eventually the shock finally registered with me. A numb feeling spread from the center of my brain almost instantly. Nagito is dead. 
even when I saw this before me, I wasn't able to comprehend that reality yet. What's going on here? Uh, you serious? Is he really dead? He's not pretending to be dead, is he? I mean, it's, it's Nagito, you know? That's right, it's Nagito. He's, uh, he always messes with us. He always tries to confuse us, that's why... I can't believe it. Nagito ended up in such a cruel state. Nagito is dead. Deep down, I believe... That when the killings finally ended, I'd never see this guy again. I never expected I'd be looking at Nagito's body like this. Nagito probably thought the same thing. I can't help seeing it in his dead, frightened face. But on this island, unbelievably abnormal occurrences happen all the time. Even Nagito couldn't escape that truth. But even something as small as that... The body discovery announcement? Then it's for real. Hey! Then Nagato is really dead? Damn it! Not that just that he's Nagito was killed. That's right. Plus it was one of us. I mean, that's what it means, right? One of us killed Nagito. One of us killed him so brutally. And it's going to start again. Huh? The class trial is going to start soon, right? Then... Of course! We gotta find out who Nagito's killer is. Hey, hey. No matter who you guys sacrifice, you're determined to survive and leave this island, right? Shing. And the time for action is now. Allow me to give you the familiar Monokuma fuck. Don't get in my way, I was just about to whip out the Monokuma file. I can't stand this anymore. How much longer you want to keep putting them through this? No more, I won't let you. I'll make sure I pulverize your evil intention. Hey, hey. Say something. What's this? Oh, and I remember who you are, you're Monami. Hey. If you're gonna talk about my intentions, why don't you talk about yours first? <laughs> what are your intentions anyway? Why are you keeping everyone cooped up on this island? I'm sure everyone here wants to know too, you know? <laughs> what? No fair, you're shutting up too? Please wait. Enough already. We already have enough to deal with concerning Nagito. Please, do not say anything else that will confuse us. Hey. Anyway, let's begin. I mean, in the end, we still have to do it, right? As long as the killing happens, we can't do anything about it, right? We have no choice but to do it, right? Besides, it's our fault that we couldn't even prevent it. Uh. No. That's the only way we can survive, right? Nice! Looks like you kids are way more behaved than Monami. Don't fuck with me! I'll definitely make sure to finish this for good this time. This is does that mean you guys are getting bored of the school trip? Actually, don't worry, the end is near. The end? What's the matter? Don't make a face like a pig that's about to become bacon. You've noticed it already, right? <laughs> the meaning behind that Monokuma timer? I guess there's only two days left, huh? When that timer reaches zero two days from now, what will happen to us? Mm -hmm. The killing school trip will be over. Hey, hey. If this will finally be over, you serious? does that mean we can go home? What are you gonna do? Don't count your bears before they've hatched. There's still something you've got to do before that, right? So, Once again. The Monokuma file. Phew. You guys need to find out who Nagato's killer is and survive the class trial. If this ends here, there won't be an afterword at all. Do your best. Wait! 
I won't forgive you. Hmm. What do you guys think? School trip is nearly at its same. It's set to thing we can go home, right? But still. Kazuichi, I understand how you feel, but we need to focus on Nakiko's taste first. Damn it. Even if we can go home, it'll be the end for us if we screw up here. Alright! Let's hurry up and solve Nagito's case. We can all go back home. However. It's nice to think everyone can go back home, but that is impossible, isn't it? I mean, someone in this room killed Nagito. There's a killer among us. The weight of those words began to sink into me. That was true of the previous cases, but was it really true this time? No matter how much I tried, I couldn't believe it. Because the victim was Nagito? Because his death was so abnormally cruel? No, it wasn't just that. There was something more to it than that. Whatever it was, it was stuck inside me. That's the end of the episode, guys. If y'all enjoy it, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I read them all. Tap into the next one. Um, I'm probably gonna finish investigations today, but I, I, I just need a rest. I just need a rest. Peace out. I love you guys.